A man buffeted by storm winds clings to a fragile umbrella painted with the map of the earth. It is one of the prize-winning paintings, some with accompanying animations, in a United Nations children's art exhibit called Paint for the Planet. Achim Steiner is executive director of the UN Environment Program, which sponsors the Paint for the Planet competition. The agency recently brought child artists from several continents to New York to participate in both the UN exhibit and an auction of their work. This year we chose to try and take a selection of these paintings and use them to give a voice to children's and young people's views about climate change, environmental challenges and how they view their future but also our responsibility to do something today. The winning paintings are by children from countries including Thailand, China, Nigeria, Kenya, Russia, Armenia and Ukraine among others. Some are optimistic and show the sun and wind as new sources of power. Others portray arctic animals wilting in the heat, or even the earth itself sweating and exhausted. A few suggest human despair at a degraded world. Nine-year-old Catherine Liu of the United States prescribed change with her painting. In the light bulb, everything is good and it's what we should do and should use. And outside the light bulb, um, everything is bad and it's broken down because it's not good and it's things that we shouldn't use. Guy and Herrera, who was 14 years old, has seen famine caused by environmental degradation in his country, Burundi. His painting and an accompanying animation by the UN show two possible fates for the world, pictured on opposite sides of an ancient tree. If we continue destroying the environment, we could all die. Right now we are victims of human activities, so we are the victims of our own activities. So I think that we should stop and take a good action. The UN Environment Program's Joachim Steiner notes that a recent survey by his agency found that young people and children around the world rate climate change as a major concern. He says that children's art is an ideal way for expressing that concern. Paintings are just one means to express that. There are many, many different ways, but sometimes the imagery of art goes beyond language, language barriers, and cultural barriers. They speak to a universal uh, population in the world. The auction in New York of 26 paintings raised $21,000 for the United Nations Children's Fund to be used to help children in areas touched by climate-related disasters. Carolyn Weaver, VOA News, New York.